Hi, I'm Peter from Screaming Banshee. Today we're going to install one of our systems on this Honda Interceptor. We have three different systems to choose from. We have a chrome system, we have a black system, and we have a new split system which we designed for bikes with really tight spaces. Today we're going to install the black one-piece horn and that comes with the control unit, the hardware pack, and a set of instructions. On this particular bike, the best place to mount the horn is inside this cavity. So I'm just removing the panel. Then here's the horn here, and it fits right on in there like that. That's a really sweet spot. And so what I'm going to do in order to mount that is to make the bracket come off this member here. So for this installation, I've taken one of our brackets and I've bent it slightly so it can sit in here. So here's the horn attached to the modified bracket. It's going to slip into the enclosure here and it's going to bolt with one single bolt right here. Here is what the horn looks like when it's mounted. The control unit is going to mount up inside the front of the bike here and we're just going to cable tie it to the wiring harness where it's out of harm's way and still accessible if I want to change one of the settings. The two blue wires connect to the stock horn using these piggyback connectors. To attach them you just simply need to slide them over the wire and then just crimp them with a good quality crimp tool. Just like that. Here's the two blue wires attached to the stock horn. This part of the job is done. Next we're going to run the hot wire down through the bike and connect it to the battery. Here's the battery wire attached. Now we're going to hook up the yellow wire which flashes the high beam lights. On this bike, this is the left high beam light, this is the ground, and this is the hot. So what we're going to do is just simply slide on the connector, then we put the yellow wire into here like that, and then what we're going to do is just squeeze down hard with a pair of pliers. Then we just fold the little clasp over and you're done. I've made up this little ground wire for the horn so we're going to attach that to the negative. The orange wire goes on to the positive. Then the horn can be lowered into place. The horn is now mounted with the two ground wires, one for the horn and one for the control unit. Basically the installation is complete, just needs the wiring tidied up slightly. A couple of cable ties make the wiring really nice and neat. This will all be covered by the bodywork. So here's the completed Screaming Banshee system. As you can see, the horn's all nicely tucked away. You can just see the control unit there. You can change the fuse and change the little switches if you need to. So here it is, ready for action.